Hello, welcome to the weekly Forex Outlook here at XM.com. I'm Rafi Bayajan, currency analyst, and here with me is our chief economist, Michalis Sorenjadis. Uh, so, Michalis, uh, the focus at the start of the week uh, was on that, those easing trade tensions between the US and China and the dollar. Started the week uh, near 16 month highs. Uh, the Aussie and the Kiwi both outperformed this week on the back of those uh, positive developments uh, on the trade front. However, later in the week, the focus turned on Brexit and the pound. Uh, so what's the latest with that? Yes, I think it was an interesting uh, development, Raf, because with the trade, there was somewhat uh, more optimism. But uh, there were also some uh, bad news uh, about uh, trade as well, which moderated, uh, let's say, bullish uh, mood. So we are seeing a little bit of back and forth with respect to trade. What's uh, for sure is that... Uh, the U.S. dollar is still kind of a safe haven of this uh, story, so it tends to strengthen when we have uh, stock uh, sell-offs and uh, and maybe uh, news about trade tensions and uh, vice versa. Now, with the pound, there was a roller coaster ride because there was a, uh, the announcement of an agreement between the EU and uh, the U.K. on what's going to happen after uh, March, which is the Brexit deadline, sort of to speak, to give uh, uh, some more, some more time to reach a definitive uh, conclusion and uh, uh, more for more uh, negotiations, like a transition period. I would, I would characterize, but uh, this uh, seems that uh, this still is unpopular for the uh, members of parliament, both of the ruling party and of the opposition. So it's not looking uh, too good, uh, the chances of this deal getting uh, parliamentary approval. Indeed, this deal might even uh, cost Prime Minister May her job, because uh, th there are uh, quite a lot of uh, disagreements within her party, and maybe they will try to uh, call a no-confidence vote in her. So this is what is happening. With respect to the euro, it's been doing relatively well although we haven't really had uh, any positive, uh, concrete positive developments out of the uh, hot issue of the moment for the euro, which is the Italian budget. The deadline for Italy revising its budget came and went. Uh, there were some uh, inflammatory remarks, and there were out of Italy, then there were some more conciliatory ones. So uh, this is also uh, taking its course. And uh, ECB Chair uh, Mario Draghi was uh, a little bit on the dovish uh, side, although he's still on schedule to go on with the, the stopping the QE and maybe raising rates uh, next year. So this was the backdrop uh, for this week. Um, so having said this, what are we? Uh, what should we be expecting next week? What are the key points to watch? Well, it's going to be unusually quiet, in fact, next week. Uh, we're not going to have that much uh, major releases coming up. Uh, the focus will likely fall on the Eurozone flash PMIs. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, Draghi was a little bit uh, less hawkish uh, this time around in his comments. Uh, so if those PMI numbers for November show a further slowdown in the Eurozone economy, we could uh, perhaps see the euro potentially coming under pressure again. Uh, and you also mentioned Italy. Uh, they revised their revised budget uh, on November 25th. First, we're going to have the European Commission uh, giving its reply to that uh, revised budget. Um, Brexit will likely remain at the forefront. Uh, you were talking about Theresa May potentially uh, facing a leadership challenge. Uh, so if we do see some developments on that front, the pound uh, will uh, once again uh, remain, uh, probably come under attack. Uh, in terms of the other data, we're going to have inflation numbers out of Japan uh, and Canada. The loony had been uh, coming under downside pressure from falling oil prices. We saw a big slump uh, in uh, WTI prices uh, this week. They fell to one-year lows. Uh, so perhaps some positive data out of Canada could help uh, the loony make a, a bit of a rebound. But overall, we do have the U.S. Thanksgiving uh, weekend uh, next week. Uh, so we could see perhaps lighter market um, liquidity. Okay, so it should be an interesting week. And maybe I should add that... Uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, Mays and had been has been forecasted many times in the past, and this uh, forecast did not 
bear fruit. So it'll be interesting to see what is going to happen uh, this time around. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rafi, for your input. Thank you, everyone, for watching and have a great day.